Alright everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are now reviewing a game that I found on Steam recently. It's uh, relatively new, it's called Critter Clicker. It is an idle game, it's a lot like Clicker Heroes if you've played that. I, I was playing that and this was recommended to me, so... Gonna give the, I've, I've been playing this the past few days and it's actually... It was pretty bad at first, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but it's actually come to really catch my interest. And it, It's pretty much a farm building game. Uh, again, it, it, it's very simplistic, as you can tell here by the, the music and the, the graphics and the art here, but... Yeah, like I said, we're pretty much building a farm here. We have our basic resources, such as logs, grain, milk, all that. We, we build it up by making more... Uh, getting more critters over here. We got our, our farm hand here, and we got a beaver as well. They'll get us logs. But essentially, I, I, I do have quite a few... <laughs> of these spaces taken up. I, I, I Full disclosure, I did spend $40 on this already to get extra plots. But I, I will show you what it's like when you first kind of start out here. Um, so I will go to... I'm not, I am going to save it right here. And I'm going to... Because I do want to get back to this area. You can sell your farm and you'll get money for it. So that is what we're going to do right here. So we're going to start over. So essentially, you're not going to have a house when you start out, but you will have a few of these critters here. And what, what it basically expects you to do is to drag a couple of these guys down. We, we do want to diversify a little bit. I believe you do start with at least the grain, the grass, and we'll get meat as well with the, the pig here. And then as you progress, you'll unlock more. And this is your resources you're taking in, plus 8 milk per second. And plus 8 meat per second, and plus 8 grain per second. I, I'm not at level 4 because I have some perks that that allow for that. But essentially what happens too, is that we can, once we get enough, so it, it, it costs 160 grain to upgrade this. So we have enough grain, so we're going to click to upgrade to level 5. And like I said, it is an idle game. <laughs> You're going to spend most of this just clicking the, either the plus button, or allocating your resources appropriately. So we're going to upgrade these guys. And so while you're waiting around, what you can do, this is a little perk here. We are actually going, you can hover above. And notice how this changes. So we're going to hover above our grain guy over here. And it triples the amount you get per second. So if you're really low on a resource you want to catch up, then you can hover over this and just let it be for a while. It's actually a, uh, a pretty good perk. It, it does encourage you to, well, keep your app open and leave your cursor over a resource and the clicks down here it, it, it's built in with an auto clicker already there's there's no reason to really buy one or anything like they do on clicker heroes but in terms of resources here you'll like i said you'll start out with i, I believe it is farmhand grass meats then you'll move on to logs which is is the dam here and you'll only have these eight spaces here. I have the house because I've advanced a little further. You won't have that to start out with. But then you'll eventually build onto that. We'll have the coop here that can get us eggs every second. And then you'll move to the barn which provides wool. We'll then be able to get the geese which is, well, the lake. And it, this is actually kind of a unique one. It's a, it's a gold bonus. So it, it does require resources. Here, here's the cost to upgrade by the way. So we need 320 grain and 320 logs. Uh, let me go. Let me get the logs real quick here. So I'm going to hover over my my beaver here, and as you see, the logs have a three times gather rate. So when it comes to the gold, use gold. I'll show you what that here is. That's for here in a bit. But we're going to upgrade this. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm jumping around here a bit. When you before you sell farm, it shows you how much it's worth. So 122. The lake. It, it adds to that. It's added in there. So when you click that, it went from 13 to 19. So it's going to be plus 6. So, well, actually, I guess it would be plus 9. Because whenever you also whenever you upgrade off a level here, it goes up every level for one of your your critters that you click. And But when you sell the farm, as you saw earlier, it does restart your game. But that could be an advantage when things get really slow. You sell your farm for gold, and then you can start upgrading your, your critters and whatnot. And then, la the last critter available is the shed. This gives you discounts. So, as we see here, 
So the barn costs 564 eggs, 564 grain. If we click, if we upgrade this, it went down slightly to 547 and 547. So we're going to keep, we're going to do it again here. Now it's 530, 530. So the shed is good. It's good to keep a couple of them to keep your costs down a little bit. And the, these next four are unique as well. They are actually structures. So your first one here is the smith. It increases production. So here we have a plus 10 production. You can have multiples of these, by the way, to kind of stack on one another. Our next is actually pretty unique too, and I use a lot of these. It's the mill. So what these will do, if you hover over this, it's, it's, it produces, well, initially it'll produce five gold over five minutes once you feed it that resource cost. And then you can hit auto and it'll keep feeding resources in there even while you're offline. So you can let it run overnight. You can have several mills going. And once you get um, a, a good farm going and having several resource resources going in there, it's, it's good to click all of those onto auto and, and they'll generate gold for you overnight. Our third structure here is the the track. This increases the speed of, of your mills, which is incredible too, especially once you get to higher speeds. My previous game was at 100 and, and then we have it at 95% speed increase. And then our last one is our house. So this is kind of unique here. Um, it, it, it essentially, when you build it, you can upgrade your house as well. It levels one through eight. And I'll show you it here before we go to this area. We're gonna go to the house. So the level one house, it will just make all your farm, your critters start at level two. And level two has another perk, plus 10 gold gain from selling the farm. And I'm actually on five, which it has quite a few perks here. You get 30 plus gold gain on selling the farm, 30 plus, 30% 30 effect on smithy track, and I get 40% increased gold gain from the mill. I'm shooting for eight, which pretty much doubles everything you get, all the efficiencies and the gold. So that's what you're going for. It's extremely expensive. Um, yeah, 16k gold for my next upgrade. So it's going to be a while. But while we're here at the market, this is where you'll use your gold as well. We can upgrade our critters here. So as you can see, I have increased most of my critters by at least 100%. I haven't done lake or shed yet. Lake, it's it's good in the early game, but I haven't been using it lately. I've, I've been using resources and mills. But yeah, we could choose one of these to upgrade here. So I I usually like to go in order. I did, I did I'd take that back. I did do dam first because... You need a lot of logs in this game. Just That's just a uh, pro tip right there. But we'll go ahead and upgrade our field here. So we'll get 110% speed. And our unlocks, this is where you'll unlock your smith, mill, track, and house. They will cost gold. I've unlocked all four already and unlocked all the critters. Uh, now our third tab here is get hats. So this is, this is your microtransactions essentially. Um... You can get 50 hats, 110 hats, 240 hats, or 650 hats. I, I bought this twice just because I was kind of getting a little addicted to this game. Uh, I got 240 hats to unlock the plots of land here. I'll show you what I mean. So I have all these slots open that I can put anything I want in these. But you'll run into a situation. So that's page five, page six. So I can either spend 9.96 million, and that's... It is an incredible amount. I have 1,000 gold, so I've just been buying hats because you can trade in your hats to build uh, plots of land here, and it'll progressively get bigger. I have no, no idea how many pages there are because every time I fill up a page, a new one's added, so I, I, I really have no idea how long it goes. But uh, that's pretty much the basics of it. It's really simple. It is an idle game. I play this and Clicker Heroes actually at the same time. Uh, makes for some entertaining times. Let me see actually, hopefully. Oh yeah, one little thing I want to mention. So Cell Farm, I did show you guys that. If you click Sell, really Cell Farm, you will get raw, will get raw gold out of it. But you have to start your farm over. Which it has its benefits and drawbacks. But let me go to load. Hopefully it takes me back. Okay, good. <laughs> to my main farm here. Oh, no, it didn't. It took me back to the last game. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, I have to redo all that. It's all right. I made a video out of it. But yeah, that's essentially the premise of this game. Um, is there anything else I want to show? Yeah, there is one other little secret here I want to show you. If you do go to the menu here and you go through the entire instructions pamphlet, 
It does, as you can see here, it says, oh, and here's free 50 hats. There'll be a button here, I already got mine, for free, fi, fi, uh, a free 50 hats. So pretty much you'll get a couple slots of land at no charge there. And if you want more, just uh, to support the devs, you can go to the Get, get Hats page. We've been on that. So yeah, overall, I give this game a good rating. I, I really enjoyed it. I am enjoying it. A lot to learn. Um, definitely very math-oriented. Uh, like, but like I said, no complaints. I, I love playing this and Clicker Heroes at the same time. It is good to have in the background. I'll check it every once in a while. Make sure my resources are at full efficiency here. I, I will have to redo my farm. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just shoot me a comment. I'd love to help you out. <laughs> what I can't, I've only been playing for a few days. But again, thank you all. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.